take you and your mother. It's Shakespeare like you've never seen before. And is it thus? Repays he my deep service with such contempt? These actors are also inmates. You know, when Shakespeare brought the crowds to watch his plays at the Globe Theater, they were meant for everyone, accessible. People would pay a penny to stand and see the show. Hundreds of years later, his words still resonate, and in this case, they're life-changing. Mara McDonald is, has these new beginnings. You guys, there are a couple mics at the very edges of the stage. Backstage on opening night, going over the scripts one more time before curtain. There are the typical opening night nerves for an opening night that is anything but typical. Now is the winter of our discontent. The words are Shakespeare's. May glorious summer by this son of York. The play, Richard III. And all the clouds that load upon our house. The cast, all women. The deep bosom of the ocean fairies. But this is no community theater. I'm Richard III. Michaela Hull, star of the production and an inmate until 2018. Unfortunately, I guess I thought the world owed me something, and but I've learned different. I can do better now. I landed this sharp pointed sword and laid naked to the deadly stroke and humbly begged the death upon my knee. Michaela's originally from Denver, a nice girl from a nice family who married the wrong man. Stealing change from a car in a garage sent her here to the Women's Huron Valley Correctional Facility. Her want for something better for her life propelled her to the stage and the Shakespeare in prison program. You could either stay down or you could get back up and do your best. And I think Shakespeare like points out all those flaws in humans and shows that the characters can still be something. Bingo. For almost every person. It's, it's really remarkable. We see light bulb moments for everybody and they look different from person to person. Franny Shepard Bates is at Huron Valley every week without fail. It's her consistency and the environment she and her staff foster that makes this program about so much more than lines. The challenge of Shakespeare strips away a lot of every, a lot of what's false and a lot of the illusion. And part of those illusions are like that message that you can't do this, you're not good enough. And dress up. It gives them hope um, that they can do something really incredible with their lives because of the sense of accomplishment they get from taking on this enormous challenge and realizing they're fabulous at it. For virtually every woman who comes through these doors, lack of self-esteem and being told they're worthless repeatedly was the start of what brought them down this road. For Michaela, her time here is almost over. The door will be opening in a few short months. She's ready. It really does help. It's, it's helped me a lot. Like I've found some other things that I'm good at and I'm just, I'm just more prepared to go out there and have human interactions like with other people. Like, I'm just more ready to be like a part of a team. Michaela is now looking at college classes after she gets out. She's thinking that maybe she wants to go into finance or insurance. And as far as the Shakespeare in prison program goes, they're in the middle of a year long case study to show what recidivism rates are for the women in that program versus without it. I'm Mara McDonald, Local 4. You know, hmm. Some folks find the, the language intimidating. Once you get past that and you find that these stories are still so current, and they so relatable, with absolutely with everyone. That message of hope, right? Yeah. Well, now here's a look at what we'll